morning guys this is one of our airplanes it's a g5 one of the airplanes we manage for a client and today i want to give you guys some tips while doing a pre-flight uh, this is not getting away from the flight manual you got to follow your checklist but these are some tips once you get access to these things what to look for and today like many other times we had the opportunity to have the flaps completely down, the landing gear wheel, the landing gear doors open, and we're just gonna concentrate on the back. But while we go to the back, uh, one thing that I wanna explain to you guys, and a lot of you guys know, for those guys flying international, start link, of course you gotta disconnect it. This pin right here, if you're flying international, the best thing is to take it home with you. Especially some foreign countries, they will actually kidnap that pin and sell it back to you and you'll be stuck so this door will get open um, once again we're not going to concentrate well before we go to the main gears one thing to notice i want to give you guys um a little tip here on the outflow valves these vortex generators right here are actually you have to verify make sure they're not crack a lot of people put in the covers will actually damage those board this generators right here big problem and it's a no-go item so i'm gonna come over here there's a lot to look for once again this is not getting away from what the checklist does uh, and it tells you that actually the checklist does tell you to open these uh doors connect the pins and do a good uh pre-flight uh, I recommend doing at least this once a week. You want to do it every day, it's fine. Uh, that's what the checklist does. One of the things to look for is hard to see. You got these valves in there. They actually want you to check, make sure that the lever, it's a little red lever, make sure that it's pegged open. They want you to let it grab it and make sure is this is for your fuel and you, this is for your fuel and then, um, you got to make sure that the lever is hard to see. Make sure it's all the way down. These are your fuel pumps. We have, once again, there's so much to look over here. The biggest thing, and this, once again, these are tips based on experience. You got to stand by uh, electrical system driven by the hydraulic pump. There is a ground cable right here that mounts to the center beam. And you see, we already had a repair done because this ground and there is a an advisory from Gulfstream to look for this and on the warranty they will cover the repair depending on the year if you still got warranty structural warranty you can see we have to put a splice here and this will chafe uh creating arcing arcing moisture and everything will create a lot of corrosion so that thing had a corrosion they had to cut a piece off and put a splice once again that is something little tip to check for so so much to look for here uh, one of the things that i came across doing pre-flies and, and doing um uh checking airplanes for clients and, and airplanes that i looked at to buy um when it comes to these uh pulleys uh this safety wire right here all right there's a in, in main school when i was really young the tissue righty tighty lefty loosey is it's is basically rule of thumb for safety wire and if you can see the screw will tie to the right safety wire have to be tightening that screw i've seen many many airplanes especially in golf trains where the safety wire is put on backwards uh and i actually seen it on this guy right here it's pretty confusing you got to do the safety wire upside down so that safety wire i've seen it where he's uh put on wrong and um once again, I know your maintenance guy is supposed to catch that, but uh, this is it. Uh, one of the things to look for here, once again, we're not gonna go too deep into this. There's so much to look for. Cannon plugs, make sure the cannon plugs are, are secure. This will save you day and problems. Sometimes these guys will, hard landings and things will come loose. Uh, all, the, all your sensors, make sure that all the cannon plugs are um, secure properly. One of the things is grab it and uh lines and measure cutter pins and big big into cutter pins make sure that all these cutter pins are installed the cutter pin will actually mess you up 
and I've seen cutter pins missing on airplanes. Some of these will have safety wires, make sure the safety wires are on. Clamps, I like grabbing clamps and just make sure that these clamps are uh, just grabbing and, and just moving up and down. Again, make sure guys that the pins are on, make sure that the pins are installed. And this is not to make fun of anybody. I know the online stuff has been going on with pins, but these guys are very important to be on, especially when you're towing the airplane. Uh, let me go back to the nose gear real quick and show you guys how important these pins are while you're towing this airplane. This guy right here is the most important pin of the entire aircraft fleet. This, this spring right here, you guys can see it. This spring is the one keeping the load on the stark link. And once you go over center, you see it's very easy to go over center here. Then this is the only thing keeping this thing down and lock. So if this pin is missing and you're towing the airplane, you go over a bump, you go over center here, the nose gear will collapse. So it's extremely important. If you don't have any pins, at least you gotta have that one. Go back over here to the wheel wells. <clears throat> we'll start by the tires. Make sure that when you're checking tires, and uh, especially the first flight of the day, uh, checking before the tow the airplane, make sure that's not cut. Because sometimes you do have a cut hidden underneath the tire. It's up locks, make sure that they roll. And because uh, sometimes they just get stuck and those, those will cause problems. Coming here and once again, make sure there's nothing in these wells right here. Grounds, make sure that the, the grounds are not broken. Um, another thing that I, I seen on client airplanes is, this always gets dirty, very, very dirty here, but these, these temperature sensors, I seen them where they are actually loose. So it's, it's, I know it's kind of it's a dirty job and I know you guys are dressed up in white shirts and stuff, but these once again will, will save you so much trouble. Grab the sensor, make sure that the sensors are in good, in good shape. Once again, the tires are in good shape. Cutter pin, look how big that cutter pin is. Um, coming here, once again, make sure there's no dirt in there. Nobody put anything crazy. Birds, animals, snakes, they like to hide in this uh, uh, environment because you land somewhere where it's cold, you still got some, so you know, I mean, it's gonna be cold here if you just land it, but if you park for a long period of time, they'll find shelter in this area. Make sure that all these lines are in good shape. This, this, once again, there's so much to look for, so much to look for. Then we'll come down the flat wheels. I seen, guys, <laughs> believe it or not, after cleaning airplanes, is very important on this flap. These are very big flaps. Look in there. There's a little roller in there uh, where I seen rags and this will mess up your day. Once again, once the flap goes up, you gotta go through these tracks. This thing goes in there. If, if there's something hiding there, you're not gonna see. I seen nuts and bolts. I seen cutter pins metal, but I seen rags in there. Um, another thing that I seen after aircraft cleaning, if you guys left the flaps down, I seen the uh, actuator gas crew where they left it perfect shiny. And the, the cleaning company will say, hey, your airplane is spotless. Yes, well, they just took all the grease out and that's a big problem. That grease is very expensive Then you gotta get it overnight. And that's a big, big problem. Make sure there's grease on your gas crew. Uh, you got all these, you got your ground spoiler actuators, they do leak from time to time. It's hard to fix that problem. And uh, you got your bungee rods, RBDTs, make sure that they connect it properly. I seen shelves behind the, the spoiler um, switches. I seen the shelves on the back broken. Again, these are things to check for. It's very, very once, a, once in a while, just drop these flaps and look deep inside these flat wells and the rods, make sure that they all have your coated keys and everything, but make sure that the, the, the wire harness, they're well connected, touch it, feeling this RBDT will screw up your day. And 
So we have that. Um, see, RBDTs everywhere. These are the guys that send the signal, the signal to uh, give you the position. We have, um, like I said, so much to look for. Just look in there. If you need to get a small ladder or something to look, or just grab your phone and, and look with the camera. Make sure that there's nothing in there. The hard rovers, the hard rovers for the, um, for the uh, ailerons, this is actually what, um, right here. These are the guys that in case you lose hydraulics, they will shut down the hydraulics so you can actually fly the airplane manually uh, with cables. They're feeling, feeling. Make sure that these connectors are in good shape. They also, Golf Gym also have a service bulletin and they will cover the repair. Once again, check with your representative. And these are little tips to check for. This is not covering the entire airplane, but I wanted to kind of give you guys some tips what to look for. Hot rovers um, for the ailerons right here. Checking real good. Cut it keys, it's a big, big deal on airplanes, on any airplane. Connectors for the RBDTs, connectors for the uh, switches. Make sure that these rods are in good shape. Make sure there's nothing hiding in there. Gas crew, this is a little review. Gas crew, make sure that they didn't take the grease out. It's clean. Uh, make sure it's, it has grease. Make sure it's not clean, make sure it has grease. And all these flap rods, make sure that the cutter keys are installed. We just recently had a, an issue on an airplane for another client that we managed where the resolver for the flap um, went bad and lost the flap. So that's a big problem. And um, again, this is Hazel with Flight 305. Give you guys some tips, bringing some, some information every time that I have the opportunity to reach out to one of these airplanes where we have access to things. And uh, uh, one of the things that I wanna cover in one of the videos coming up is paperwork. So what to look for when you buy an airplane, what are the first things to look for before you even get on an airplane and, and, and go to another country, another state, and just look for it. There's a lot of things that you can ask, and we're gonna review that soon. So Flight 305, ASO, is uh, Flight 305, FOY 305, nine, uh, 305, 517, 3492 and sales of flight 305 if you guys got any questions.